Hello, my name is Josiah Ray. I'm going to show you how to create a jet engine-like effect using After Effects. Here's my project here that I've put together, and I'm going to show you what the effect kind of looks like after it's built. So you can see this kind of like this blue area right behind where the jet would be. This would be composited on top of some footage of a jet. So it's highlighted a little bit blue, like the blue flame coming out of the jet, and then it turns to white gray and then slowly into black as it fades and if you watch the motion here it expands slowly and also falls just a little bit as though you're looking at the jet from the side and the jets the jet stream expands a little bit as it goes but it also falls a little bit because it's being affected by gravity so I've created all of this effect using essentially just the built-in particle world from inside of After Effects my birth rate is uh, for the particles is just six throughout the entire thing until the jet leaves the scene and then it drops down to zero and that's the only animation keyframe that I have right there you can play around with the the velocity and the the spread of these as you go I found that the most challenging part to get right was the longevity or how long the particles last also this is your opacity map and I've kind of it's a little bit rough but this is basically what you want it to look like you want it to have a tiny bit of fade at the beginning so that it's not it doesn't have a sharp edge when the particles come in you want to very 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 quickly reach the most opaque that it's going to be and then slowly over time ramp down but that being said you'll notice the ramp is quite steep coming off of that peak that's because I found with a very linear ramp down to the bottom you got some weird looking effects at the back of the trail. So to blend the back of the trail into the rest of the stream, so it looks like it's kind of hanging in the air and it didn't have that weird fade right at the back of it, I dropped it very suddenly and then very slowly as it got toward the end. So it's got a very shallow ramp through most of the end here with a very sudden drop right after the peak. You can change the, uh, the color map, which is what I've done. So it starts at blue and then goes very quickly to white then to gray, then to darker gray, and then to black. And again, adjusting these will help you blend that effect in so that it ramps off a much, at a much better pace. The only other thing that I've added here, aside from animating the, the producer, which is all I've done, is grab the, grab the main producer of this effect. And you can see this animating across the screen here. Is I have added some fast blur and without the fast blur you can see that these particles look quite harsh and so the fast blur is kind of a a cool trick to make cloud like looking layers the other thing that you may notice and this is something I ran into when I was trying to do the gravity stuff I've got the floor on the side here so in fact the particle producer is not moving across the screen so much as it is straight up and then the particles are being drawn to the side and uh, it's, uh, you can do this by, by coming down to the gravity vector and I've got the X and the Y selected so it's being pulled both down and across a little bit but I've got the, vac the gravity set very low so it's not being like dragged across down toward the ground it's just kind of floating slowly down toward the ground so it's like it's made more out of cloud layers in the jet stream I hope you've enjoyed this video on how to create a cool-looking jet effect. I'm Josiah Ray.